Hi guys, I am Glenn, also known on the interwebs as Mr. Crafty Man, and this is my wife, uh, a well-known cook of sorts, Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, I don't know exactly what she's going to be cooking today, but she's been planning this all week, uh, so I will let her get started on it. Alrighty, so apparently this is going to be like a vegetable curry, mixed, mixed vegetable curry. So what we're going to do is turn this on to make it nice and hot. I am going to add some olive oil in here. Extra virgin olive oil. Yep. Extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit, like a couple uh, tablespoonfuls. There you go. Let me turn this on. So now we're going to heat this up. It's going to take just a second to heat up. And somebody had posted some sort of a curry one time. I don't know if it was on Facebook or if it was on YouTube. And they kept trying to uh, say, you know, brown rice, white rice, stuff like that, which is fine if you are not a diabetic, which he is. So this, so. this was somebody in our Facebook group, and, and if it's you, and you are the one that I was talking to about this last month, uh, message me and let me know what the name of that recipe was, because I told you that I was going to cook it in a plant-based way, and I forgot the name of it. I thought I had done a screenshot and I totally lost it. So get a hold of me and give me the name of the recipe and we'll try and do it next week. All right, so we are going to heat this up. Okay. Hopefully it goes a little quick. And then we are going to add some almonds. So the almonds, what you want to do is you want to soak the almonds for like an hour or so, so they were kind of soft. So we're gonna add the almonds. How many, how much almonds is that? So the almonds is going to be about six. I'm gonna make a little bit more um, because we're gonna bring some to work tomorrow. But whatever I'm making right now is a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. I do have the recipe here and I will make sure it gets posted so you guys can see. So you're going to add the almonds, you're going to cook those, I don't know why the pan is doing what it's doing, so you're going to cook those for just a minute. And after they're cooked, they don't have to be perfect. You just have to cook them for just a few seconds or so, just to heat them up a little bit. Then I need a plate. We're gonna take them off. We're going to set those aside. There you go. We're going to set those aside. After that, we are going to put in some potatoes. We got add potatoes, carrots. Green beans. And again, this uh, we will post this uh, the copy of this recipe in the Facebook group this evening, so everyone in the Facebook group can see it. Okay, so there's potatoes, green beans, carrots, and cauliflower. So this right here is going to have to be cooked for, I would say, maybe five minutes. 
you want to cook this mixture here for about five minutes I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more oil it can't hurt anything since it's extra virgin olive oil and it also gives you calories so it's not gonna hurt anything so right now I'm gonna cook this I would say for maybe about five minutes gotta let it cook and again the recipe is going to be posted um, so you guys can see what all goes in it and alrighty so what we have done so far I used a couple tablespoons of olive oil two to three actually um, then I put in um, let's see one potato a half a cup of chopped carrots a half a cup of cauliflower I put in four uh, beans green beans but I cut them up so now what I'm going to add to it is um, a fourth cup of peas I'm gonna add some peas into that then we are going to add a fourth cup of bell pepper so again I'm making a little bit more so I'll add a little bit more alrighty and now we're going to cook this for just a second just to heat it up a bit okay cook this and again the recipe will be on the website or on YouTube Facebook up a little and then you will cook this for about three minutes all together for about three minutes and then something that I was going to mention real quick I pre-made this sauce already because all this takes a long time to cook so I pre-made this sauce already and with this sauce I pureed two tomatoes you put in an inch of cinnamon you can either use the uh, cinnamon sticks and cut it up or you can use a little powder um, five cloves two pots of cardamom and then 12 almonds so you soak the almonds let them uh, blanch for a little bit and then you put them in there with that mix and then you just put it in the mixer the Nutribullet that's what I use and make sure it's really watery and soft. So now that we've cooked that, perfect. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mmm. I mean, can you have me a big plate for those blue ones? Yeah. No, nope. the other one, the bowl plate is better. Yep. And then hold it for me real quick. And then I'm gonna put this. Watch how it's hot. I'm gonna put it aside for a minute. Oops, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we can Stay put back. this aside. Alrighty, and let me wipe this down so we don't get that everywhere. All right, now. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil. There you go. And to the olive oil, I am going to add a bay leaf. Mm. One bay leaf. If it lets me get it out of there. All right, we're going to add one bay leaf then I'm going to uh, add cumin so we're going to add some cumin let me see what it says to put in okay a half teaspoon of cumin okay 
Okay, Cuban. So it looks like almost everything is pretty much a half. A half teaspoon of cumin. And then two teaspoons of celery seed. Two teaspoons of celery seed. Then we're going to add one green chili. I'm going to add that in here that I cut up. And uh, Debbie in Florida, I don't think this is going to be too spicy for you. Um, I don't know if any of you have found the vegetable masala to be spicy, but um, Debbie thought it was pretty spicy. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. I don't have ginger garlic paste uh, mixed, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that garlic right here. Yum, yummy. And then a little bit of this ginger. There you go. Alrighty. And then we'll add, let's see, we got the ginger turmeric. We we'll have to add a fourth teaspoon of turmeric. There we go. A fourth teaspoon of turmeric. Let me find the fourth teaspoon of turmeric. There we go. And for those of you who don't know Debbie, um, Debbie was the one, I believe it was back in October, um, before we had the Facebook group, Debbie messaged me and she said, hey, uh, you mind if we start a Facebook group so everybody can get in there and communicate and network? So you all have Debbie to thank for the Facebook group. Then I will add one te uh, teaspoon of red chili. Here's the chili. And I should make Debbie a moderator in the group since it was her idea. Then she can share in the nightmare of uh, getting rid of spam and sorting through uh, all of the members and everything, figuring out which ones are actually real members and which ones are not. Then we're going to be adding a teaspoon of coriander. Teaspoon of coriander. Here's the coriander. We're going to add a teaspoon of that. There we go. And then a uh, half a teaspoon of marsala. So this is that stuff. It's called karma masala. So we're going to do half of a teaspoon of that. And then a teaspoon of salt. All right, where did I put the salt? No, I said it somewhere. You see any salt anywhere? Ah, here we go. There it is. Then we're going to put half of salt. Half of a teaspoon of salt. Alrighty, and then we're going to cook this real quick. We're going to turn this up. And we're going to cook this. Something that the uh, that the Facebook group uh, system does on its own is <coughs> it's watching, uh, it's trying to sort through profiles that it believes might be uh, spammers or scammers, and typically what it what it's looking for is profiles that have no picture, uh, profiles that have no posts, and profiles that are brand new. So I wanted to uh, apologize to Michael Healy. Uh, we've been talking a little bit this evening because the system had been shutting him out and uh, he should be in the group pretty quick. 
Okay, so we're gonna put that for a second. After that, I will take the bay leaf out. Because we will not be needing the bay leaf. Then we'll add onions. And it says one onion. I have the yellow onions. You can use any onion you want, really. I had the yellow onion and they were huge. So what I did, I just cut half of one. Yeah, it's just a drizzle of uh, extra virgin olive oil in there so it can cook a little better. Ooh, we smells good. All right. Perfect, look at that. Man, them boys smells tasty. <laughs> All right, so, and then we're gonna cook the onions all the way down. And we wanna make sure that the oil is cooked down all the way as well. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so. We're going to cook this down for a minute. Sophie's interested in what's going on up here. So we'll cook it down. I believe I added everything we needed. Celery, masala, chili powder. Yep. And then if you need to for flavor, if you need to add a little bit more if you want to, then be my guest. You're more than welcome to uh, turmeric. Or Debbie, turmeric. if it's too spicy for you, you could spicy. remove an ingredient or two. Yeah, especially uh, the peppers, the um, chili peppers. I don't like spicy myself. So you're definitely not alone on that. I've had quite a few dogs throughout my lifetime, but little Sophie here is by far the best little dog that I have ever had. We got her from a place uh, down by Salt Lake City called Yorkies Ranch. And they have the most unique colored Yorkies. And the reason why is because most of them, uh, one parent or the other, or both, is a party Yorkie. Uh, they have the party gene, which gives them these colors. But she's been such a smart little girl just since she was a couple months old. Alrighty, so now that this is cooked down for the most part. Oh, and the website for that, she, she just had a litter, is YorkiesRatch.com. And I don't get paid anything. Uh, I wanted Sophie to have her own puppy, and uh, Jeffrey Dahmer here told me no the other day. That's not going to happen. Alrighty, so to this um, onion mixture, I am going to add the tomato sauce. So, mm -hmm. put the tomato sauce in there and I'm going to scrape all this out because it's some yummy stuff and we need it. I'm going to scrape out as much as I can out of this. go. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to stir this together. Just so you guys know, I don't generally, I'm, I'm not accustomed to, to eating fine dining like this. Um, generally, I end up with neck bone. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not lying on that one. All right, so we're going to cook this for just a second. Just to heat it up a little bit more. We'll just heat it up just a little. 
And when that's done, as soon as it's done heating up, I am going to add the vegetables that we just cooked into this. And this here smells really good. I wish that uh, the internet had smells to it. I'm, I'm literally going to tear into this like a mountain lion into a baby goat when it's done. Or like a hobo into a ham sandwich. I don't know which one. I guess it depends on what the first bite tastes like. Yum. Yum, yum. Smells good. All right, so I'm just letting this cook for a minute. Now, after it starts cooking, I'm going to add in the veggies. I'm going to put all the veggies that we just did in. And that little beeping sound you guys hear in the background is our security robot. Uh, his name is Astro and we were chosen as testers for uh, Google for this, uh, this security robot. It's really cute. Alrighty, so... And he speaks with an English accent. I'm gonna put this right there like so. For some reason this thing, one minute it wants to heat up, the next minute it does not. Alright, so to this mixture I am going to add, in a second, I am going to add a half cup, it says yogurt. So the yogurt that I have, it is called so delicious it's dairy free it's coconut milk yogurt and somebody posted a picture of this in the in the facebook group just a couple days ago and it's also unsweetened so i am going to add half a cup of that and with it and it goes. There you go. We're going to mix that up in here. And something else you want to add now. All right. Now you're going to want to add about a half a cup of water to it. You can either add water to it, which is what the recipe pretty much says, or you can use even vegetable broth for a little bit more, you know, flavor. So let me add to this a half a cup of water. I'm going to stir this one more time. All right, so I'm stirring this one more time just for good measures. Turn it down. There you go. Put the lid on top of it. Oh, and don't let me forget the almonds that I had earlier. We're going to add those to it on top because they're going to be cooking with the meal. And somehow one of those almonds came up missing. I don't know who would probably was the dog. Alrighty, so now we're gonna let this cook. I would let it cook for about 10-15 minutes to make sure that it's all tender. And then after you're done with that, you want to take Let's see how much it tells me to do to put in there. And then you want to take about two tablespoons. It says cream. I'm not putting heavy cream in this because it's not vegan. 
So I'm going to use the coconut cream. I'll to do about two tablespoons of it and add that in with it. But we want to let this cook for about 15 minutes until everything is nice and tender. After that, you want to add a couple tablespoons of the coconut cream. Mix that in with it. And then what we have is the contact rice, which I have right here. Um, and you eat it with the contact rice, pretty much. So we'll have a nice little uh, picture for you guys when it's finished so you can see what it looks like. And we're not going to make you sit here and wait 10 or 15 no, minutes for no, this to be done. Not. So as soon as it's done, um, we'll get a picture of it posted in the Facebook group. Um, and we'll see if we can post a picture of it uh, as the, the thumbnail for the video. And we'll have the recipe posted in the Facebook group as well. So thanks for watching. Um, the link to the Facebook group is going to be in the, de the description of this video. Also, the link to my website will be in the description of this video. If you need any help with your 90-day plan, and if you're asking what the 90-day plan is, go back and watch my hour and four minute video. It details everything that I did step by step. If you have problems with it or you need guidance for the whole 90 days, um, there is a link on my website where you can sign up. Uh, but remember, all of this information is free in all of my videos. Um, but if you need the extra help, uh, go ahead and reach out to me. So thanks for watching and we will be back next week. Have a good night. Bye.